everybody, today in this video we are going to be discussing with you the difference between quality and not so quality voltage by comparing a quality power station with a questionable one. And if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe and look down below the video for the links. Yep, guys, we have a easy, easy, easy one to do for you. This is the All Powers. It is the big R-Series 2500. And we were actually quite excited about it. We, we, man, I was we like, were. I was like happy to get it. Yeah. Got a big discount. Um, this is the oops. Not such a discount, but I was happy to get it because Kira has been using this one now for nearly two years and it's been working just fine. It's, it's doing a hell of a job. When we first got it, they did have their first, this is literally like the first 500 of them ever sold. They did have a problem with their fan switches, which is this little piece right here now this all powers we're going to talk about here in a minute that one there had to get hacked and we're going to show you why too and be sure to go look up here or at the very end of the video there's going to be links to the videos that are on these individually okay go check them out and so, also the practical reason between behind these emis right here yes this is a electromagnetic frequency eliminator basically it is a voltage filter and i want to show you the difference you're going to be shocked you're going to hear it you're going to hear it and when we first did it we were like huh <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievable for this to be as high dollar compared to that you could buy this and an expansion battery and have money to spare compared to that it only gives you 20 percent more battery time You'd end up with 30% more for about the same price as that and quality voltage. I don't know why this thing is blurring on me. All right. So it's, 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 it's a dumb phone. It's a dumb phone. <laughs> and this is a $7.61 phone at the dollar store. So don't you dare, girl. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what we're going to show you is we're going to show you what this sounds like we're, compared to this the one. The microwave and this one. is a snitch in this case. It's going to tell on this one and this one because if you've ever hooked a microwave up to square wave, or even, well, not, I have one of them. It's an in power. It's a modified square wave. Doesn't do as bad as what this is going to show you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you this. And the previous video or a video going back will show you how crazy this one was taken apart. It's mind boggling. But she's going to power this one up. We're going to go ahead and grab my coffee over there. Test subject. And we're going to test the subject. So I want you to listen. I'm going to get where you can hear it good. Now that's the fan over here. All right, go ahead and take that out. Oh no, leave the coffee in, leave the coffee in. Oh, yeah. Just leave it there. All right, move your cord. All right, so now she's gonna go over here, make sure your power is on. Hold on, make sure your power's on. Okay, your power is on. And now, now listen here. Don't you listen. Won't you listen to that? That's this my, this one over here running it. See? All right, go ahead and turn that thing off. Now, if you didn't notice, there was a little light flicker in there too. No light flicker with this. So what do we have? We have bad voltage. This is brand new. This is high dollar. This is a heavy monster. This is ultra light has solid state batteries. This one here has the old classics in it, okay? Like like that old oops there. So what is the problem here? Well, let's take a look and we're going to be hooking this up to show you why it's different. So um, Kara, I will disconnect this one. Okay. And hold that plug there so I can give you a power here. Yep, so don't try to run away. All right. Now we're gonna run that through. Oh, that's a brand new plug, ain't it? Here, you try to get that yeah. in there. Oh. All that hair. Holy cow. I don't know. <laughs> Why does it have to be new? I think it has the plastic still in it. Okay, okay there right. you go. All right, so <laughs> there it is. Now, this is a EMI filter. Like the other items, I'll put, make sure I put this one. And you guys go check the new one that's the same. Look, there's the orange body one. All right, these are durable as hell. All right, the newest one you can get for 600 bucks. I'll put a link down there. Freaking Timu. It's sold direct from these guys, shipped from these guys, comes right on where their, their warehouse is. 
But Timu handles it, and it's 28% cheaper than buying the same damn thing on Amazon. I actually would highly suggest Timu. I mean, don't take my advice. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, what so you put her in before, the video before we move this over, I'm going to show away. you. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I've got the probes in here, and I'm going to show you what this voltage looks like. And you're going to be like, huh? All right, so let's get here. Takes a little while to get that. There we go. Now, I want you to watch here. This is the voltage. Look for these spikes. You see all kinds of little spikes all over this voltage. You see that spike? You see that spike? See that one right there? Look at these spikes. And you can look at them peaks and look how crazy this voltage is. That is the voltage that is coming out of this crazy thing. You see all them little weird spikes? And it just gets worse over time gets worse under load too so all right so she's going to take this and plug this here plug it into that one so you can it's okay. easier to do yeah now that's a hot going all the way across okay check this out now we're going to run the microwave okay you don't touch this yeah do you touchy all right so <laughs> now we use this to test so okay so you know there's a lot of people go like i got bonded electrical in my system and it's weird and something's going wrong right well this will tell you Believe it or not, using this will tell you if you have a buzzing, anything in your house that's buzzing, hook this up and you can usually track it back to a, you know, loose connection on the ground somewhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to turn it on. Hold on. Yep. Still in there. Still in there. Now, same power unit, same thing ran through that filter. So I'm going to take a little quick clip. I'm going to interject it in the middle here of it running. I guess we was plugged into there. Same outlets. It don't matter. They're all the same. Um, have it running and show you right here the noise. Don't you listen? All right, and now the noise. So why is this a problem? I think my coffee's gonna boil in there. All right. <laughs> So why is it, oh guys, if y'all want these, these things here have no freaking idle at all. This is seven, uh, 800 watt and they say 750 or 700, new, new. They pull 800, I mean, they make 800 in heat. They pull about 950, all right. Why is it like this? Let me show you why, all right. This got hacked into a 24 volt battery bank. That's it, that's all it's good for. What happened here, Kara? <sighs> It stank. Yeah. Previous video. Yes. Look, look look back. <laughs> it, 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 uh, it made a little kaboom and it stank. So this one's a fully modular system. And it being a fully modular system, guess what it can do? Yeah. So I'm going to grab the cord and show you. So we will plug it into the oops. The old one. The old oopy doopies. Yeah, you're old. And what it is, is you'll see in the video, the video where this got removed, there is a modular charger unit here and an MPPT that sits over here that I was able, and I'll see if I can pop some pictures in here of it. I might have to hold that. Oh, okay. you got it? Yep. Okay. And this thing here, like I said, this is old, still kicking like it's new. Now watch. Now I can charge that. I can also charge that with 400 watts of solar. I can pull 24 volts off of it here and off of it here. Um, 50 amps to run a, a, a 17 amp DC air conditioner. Freaking sweet, huh? So right now it's just topping off because it's been used a couple of times to run something at 24 volt. And it's gonna fade down to zero and shut off. And the battery's in the bottom. So look at that little picture. I'll, I'll pop a picture up there, kind of what it looks like there. A little clip. Short clip. All right, guys. That's the end product. Here it is. As I just said in the video. All right. That's how that one got handled. Now, come over here, Kara. It's like they use some of the same parts, ain't it? You know, the that's the better dis display, though. All right. Yeah. Now, you're seeing this one here, and I'll go ahead and unplug it for safety purposes. 
there, no power in it. And you can see, come over here and look. Look at the voltage still wigging out. That's the voltage. Look at the voltage just wigging out like hell that's over in this thing. It's your ex-wife's emotions. <laughs> ex-wife's emotions, yeah, she is. <laughs> and, and she's speaking in tongue, too. All right, so <laughs> you're going to see this is a EMI filter, okay? Spike pre prevention has poly uh, poly capacitors on it, polyelectric capacitors on it. It has the inductors on it and the chokes on it, and it has two ceramic ones that actually work where the lines come in that keeps this balanced. Freaking simple. What does the all powers, including this one, including this big monster, what do they have in them as a filter? That's it. That's it. There's an output, AC output. That's it. So no, nothing behind your hand, just everything in front. No, that's it. Well, this this is just load support. But and this here is for the AC voltage itself. This yeah. is this is its toradal transformer, and then this is the RF. So which is this is the RF. So that's it. This is what's in an all powers. Garbage, I think they call it in French. Oh no. And this is why you get this. Now still. Still. Now, do you know how much this thing cost me? About eight bucks. Do you know it, how much this would have cost you? Yeah, about eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I got it for three and a quarter. But this right here is you. They could have put this quality inside of one of these. This is twenty amp. This can handle twenty amps. This can only handle fifteen, and it don't really do a good job. So this can handle twenty amps, which is twenty five hundred watts. They could have put the next model up that handles 24 amps because they don't go to 25. I don't know why, but 24 amp model with just slightly larger polyletic capacitors on it. They could have put that thing in there. And guess what? It wouldn't be a piece of junk. And that for them in China would have been like 15 freaking cents. Because, I mean, everything is like that. They make it for 15 cents. They sell it for $5. Yeah, I couldn't pay somebody to keep that thing. I'd feel too bad. Yeah. So when you think about the quality difference between the OOPS and its expansion battery option is very simple right there. It really doesn't just come out easy. Very simple. It's charging uses pretty simple. This one's a lot more complicated. It's got more crap dealt to deal with over here. <sighs> I would have, a, I, I, I would prefer the, the Mega 3, this is the Mega 1, the Mega 3 is three times what this is. This is 90% of what this is, but none of them are the price you're going to pay for what bad stuff. Exactly. And another thing is this will actually end up costing you even more than this inverter. It's going to you kill use. your microwaves. Yeah, other than the fact that you, the noise will keep you from getting away from your nightly snacking routine. There you um. go. <laughs> it's going to wake up the neighbors, your kids. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you heard it, the guys. Pockets again. <laughs> there it goes. Dad's up in the pizza pockets and the coffee. So this it is. It will actually destroy your appliances. It will destroy your appliances. It will even, believe it or not, with the harmonics. If you see that coming out of this, if you see the harmonics coming out of that, that will actually destroy even as, as a toaster. The electric coils in a toaster will go bad because of how much distortion is what that is is coming out of this thing. Mm. Outrageous. Now. Below the video, I'll put links to some of these, and there's other EMI filters, there's other choke filters, there's other, there's all kinds of different style. This one requires a EMI filter of quality, and you can put this in a box. There's also encased ones that have a metal shell on them, and you connect to it. I recommend using this, put it in a project box. This is a good one, and I'll put a link to that. They're AliExpress, you get them in about a week, but they're good ones. And pick a better one. Pick a better one. When you buy a power station, buy one with the intent to use it on everything, right? Yeah. On? <laughs> yeah, there's no point. Don't waste your money, guys. Yeah. All right. So all powers, but it costs you less than a dollar to do it right. Oops. No oops there. And uh, if you'd like to support our cause, you can go down to the Buy Me a Coffee. If you have any important questions about your solar wall or about things like this, that would be the perfect place to ask them. And like and subscribe, y'all be good. And make sure that your power does not yeah. escape from you. <laughs> Dirty escape. power.
Bad. Bad. Boo. Yeah. Y'all be good.